Hi everyone, welcome to the next episode of the Explain Series with your host, Dr. Brett Palmer. Today we're going to be talking about the different types of HIV. And so there are two main types, HIV1 and HIV2. And a lot of people, uh, that may uh, come as uh, some news to you. So HIV2 is mainly centered around West Africa. Uh, HIV1 is the, uh, the one that's gone uh, worldwide and is uh, usually the more uh, uh, is the most common in, for example, Europe, North America, South America, um, uh, Asia, and elsewhere in the world. So what are the main differences? Well, uh, they both kind of behave in the same way. They're both transmitted in the same way. And if left uh, on their own, they will both progress to uh, symptomatic HIV, also known as AIDS. Uh, so the actual differences are that if you have HIV number two, it's uh, more likely to stay uh, a little bit under the radar and you will progress uh, to AIDS at a much uh, lower and slower rate compared to HIV-1. It's also a little bit harder to transmit uh, than uh, HIV-1. Uh, HIV-1 uh, effectively is the more aggressive form uh, of HIV-2. It's easily, uh, it's a lot more easily transmissible uh, than HIV-2 and uh, it can be quite uh, aggressive uh, when it comes to uh, progressing through uh, the disease into um, AIDS or symptomatic um, HIV. Uh, another thing to realize as well is they are treated slightly differently. Uh, and so with HIV-2, you can't take a drug called NNRTIs, uh, and they are drugs uh, which, uh, uh, well, the names of those drugs are things like efavirenz, or piverine, and um, duravirine, for example. And so those drugs can't be used because HIV-2 is intrinsically immune to those medications. However, every other medication uh, used uh, for HIV can be used in HIV-2, and it's usually quite uh, 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 an easy infection uh, to get on top of, as is HIV-1. And with both infections, regardless whether we've got HIV-1 or HIV-2, or if you're really unlucky, both, um, they are treated um, uh, uh, with antiviral medication, and if you take antiviral medication every single day, uh, you will uh, suppress the HIV, your immune system will rebuild, and you can live life uh, normal. It's much, much worse to have something like diabetes or uh, uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or heart disease than it is to have HIV. So I hope you found that interesting. It was just a very, very quick review of HIV-1 and HIV-2 and uh, press like and see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.